Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this kitchen clean with me that I'm doing today. First, I'm starting off with the dishes. I had left my dishes from breakfast and lunch on this day, so that's why there were quite a few dishes to get done. I'm really trying to be better about doing the dishes as soon as I use them, but sometimes they just get left and then you have to do them all at once. So that's what I am doing here. And then also on this day, we were going out for dinner, so I knew there wouldn't be any dishes to do tonight. So I was excited to just get them out of the way and then have a clean kitchen for the rest of the evening. If you guys saw my snack grocery haul, you saw all of these snacks that I'm moving out of the way that we're taking on our vacation to the Grand Canyon. So I had to move all of those out of the way. I was just sick of looking at them in the kitchen. And then I went ahead and wiped down all of the cabinets in the kitchen using my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the basil scent. Next, I wiped down the countertops just using that same Mrs. Meyer spray. Wiping the counters off like this is something I try to do every day. Sometimes it doesn't happen and I do it every other day, but that's definitely more of like a daily cleaning chore, whereas wiping down the cabinets the way that I did is probably more like a monthly thing. Next, I moved on to the microwave. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I hate cleaning up the microwave. It's usually easy because we keep ours clean, but for some reason, I just always dread cleaning it. The next task was to clean off the stove, which I actually love doing because I hate any like leftover food residue, so I love to wipe it all down and then it's left looking sparkly and shiny clean.
So I went through the couple coupons that we had on the fridge. I threw away the expired ones and then wiped down the fridge. And then I went back over to the dishes to dry off the dishes I had just cleaned and put them away so that I would have an empty sink to work with so that I could clean it out. Now it's time for my favorite part of every cleaning video, which is cleaning out the sink. I love this so much. It just feels so good to completely wet it and then soap it all up and then rinse it out and dry it. It just looks so good and shiny and clean. So enjoy this part. After the sink was done, I went ahead and replaced our towels. I like to switch out the kitchen towels about every four to five days just because after drying your hands on them or, you know, wiping something up on the counter, I just like to replace them pretty often so we always have a mostly clean set. And then the last thing I did for today's video is clean the floors. So I started off by sweeping everything up in the kitchen and then I went ahead and mopped as well. For mopping today, I used my Swiffer wet mop, I guess you would call it. It's just like the Swiffer pole and then I put the wet towelettes on the bottom and I mopped up. So I went ahead and mopped the floors and then the kitchen was finally clean. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some cleaning motivation. Um, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!